Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. I'm losing so much weight. That's why it's all, you know, I'm trying to fix, you know. But that's a good thing, praise God, because um, this is my last journey, meaning that I'm not going to be going up and down no more. So I thank God for this 40-day fast. This is the 13th day of the fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him glory. I feel the power of God, and I ain't even started. I have a lot to talk to you about. But if you notice my title, it says that know who you are in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The enemy hates your anointing, and he hates your authority. I'm going to say that again. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God, and I ain't even started. The enemy hates your anointing. And he hates your authority, thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. So I have a lot to talk about, so let me slow myself down. Praise God. Praise God. Let me tell you something. Body of Christ, you don't know who you are. That's why the enemy could play with you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And to be honest with you, he playing a little too much. I'm going to talk about some deep things tonight. As always, and remember on this 40 day fast, I would get on here and I would tell you what does said the Lord and I would do a short Bible study. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you something and, and I pray that you understand what I'm saying tonight. You got to know who you are, people of God, men of God, women of God. You got to know who you are. And, and, and I'm going to veer to the right, but I'm coming back left. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you don't know who you are, you'll start attacking people. If you don't know who you are. Now, hold on. Attacking is different than mandate. Oh, come on, somebody. When you are a prophet of God, there are things that you have to do. So that's a, there is a difference. Okay. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got to put this thing up. I don't know what happened just now. That was weird. But, um, when you are a prophet of God, then you gotta, you, you gotta say what you gotta say. No, people may not understand. They may not even like your truth be told, but I'm going to go somewhere. If you don't know who you are, you will start attacking people in, in any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. Oh, man, I forgot my, um, I'm telling you, let me tell you something. They may don't want me to do this lesson because, um, he's trying to, I had had something ready and it just disappeared just now, just disappeared, but that's why I'm going to get it back. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So I'm talking about authority. He don't want you to know your authority. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I got to do it all over. That's okay. Um, wow. That's all right. I, it's, it's easy. Just like that. So you'll start attacking people. And I got to go here. I got to go here. You'll start thinking somebody talking about you on Facebook and nobody even talking about you. I'm saying that for a reason. Let me tell you something. One thing about Apostle Deanna Dixon. I thought y'all knew me. Some of y'all don't like me. Most of you can't understand me. And most of you just don't even know what to think because you don't have no wisdom and discernment. If I got something to say, trust me, I will say your name. And you know that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Especially if God give me the green light. So what am I saying? First of all, y'all cannot stand powerful people. The Deborah anointing. The Elijah anointing is proof of that. You guys don't like powerful people. Hold on. I get it. I get it. I understand. But here's the deal. Like Paul said, are we ought to obey God or man? You are supposed to obey God all day long. Come on, somebody. So let me get let me get deep into this thing. Bible verses. All right. And we're going to give you some about spiritual authority. Luke 10, 19 says, behold, I given to you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You got to know who you are. You got to know who you are, because let me tell you something what the enemy does. The enemy tries to make you think that you are not who God have called you to be. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You better hear what I'm saying tonight. That's the enemy's greatest thing is to try to tell you who you are not. Hold on. Let me tell you how he does this. He does this by he'll allow God will allow you to be attacked on your finances. God would be your like a, attack personally. On your character, your integrity. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And what you got to do is you got to stand strong. I don't know what's wrong with this thing, you guys, but I, I got to just do it like I do it. Hold on. I'm going to have to step up a little bit. I don't know. I'm telling you. It seems like he don't, he don't want me to preach this, but I'm going to preach this thing. And not only that, let me tell you what else is going on. He doesn't want you to know because he knows that whatever God has inside of you is powerful enough to stop him in every aspect of your life and the life of others. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, I couldn't understand. Oh, I'm about to preach this thing like God want me to do it because the enemy fight me. So I'm going to just purse through that. Hallelujah to his name. You know how you know you anointed when you done been through hell. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Because you got to go through hell to teach heaven. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I'm afraid of those that ain't never been through nothing and always want to preach and teach. You can't tell me nothing because you ain't been through nothing. No, I like you can walk in my shoes if you ain't been in my shoes. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, 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 I don't understand this new generation. You don't want to go through nothing, but you want to teach something. Honey, let me tell you something. It is better. It is better to be silent and thought of a fool than to open up your mouth and be a fool. That's a scripture, by the way. Hallelujah to his name. Let me, let me continue this thing. You're going to have to go through some things that you don't want to go through. And it's going to hurt. Oh, my God. People going to leave you. They're going to mock you. They're going to lie on you. They're going to deceive you. They're going to betray you. They're going to talk about you on Facebook. I, I noticed that I said this twice because I'm going somewhere with this. Let me tell you something. I knew who I was in 2014 when God made me start the prophetic classes. God gave me the whole rundown. And I cried like a baby. He said, Deanna, this was going to happen. That was going to happen. This. And I was like, Wow. And I'm here to tell you, a lot going to happen when you are called. You may not have the mandate that I have, but you have a calling. And when you have a calling, you got to understand the enemy is after you. The enemy don't talk to nobody that's not anointed. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I, I want to go here. It's sad because it's not just the enemy. Sometimes it's our own brothers and sisters. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says if you have ought against somebody, go to them. I mean, pick up a phone. Oh, you, you, you come on, somebody message them. But y'all rather attack people on Facebook, crookbook. That's going to get you in trouble, God says. That's going to get you in trouble, God says. And not only that, I'm going here tonight. We have to learn how to honor each other. You may not like a person. But if God chose them, that is none of your business. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Oh, I'm going here, and I didn't know that God was going to make me say it, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I just I'm gonna come out and say it. And I pray that I pray that the person see it that has to see it. We have to honor each other. Even if you don't like each other. Because let me tell you something. I'm gonna give you an example. That's what I'm gonna do. Walk with me. Walk with me. Let's say I had my own um church, or better yet, you know, I'm I'm about to give another conference. I haven't given one in a couple of years, huh? If I know that you are a prophet or or apostle or anything and I know that it is authentic. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say I'ma say in the midst of us is an apostle, a prophet, or so and so, whatever your calling is. Not because I'm just honoring you. I'm honoring your office. I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> Come on, baby, quit calling. So basically what I'm saying is this when you do not honor who God honors you are cursing your own ministry. And that ain't witchcraft. That's real talk. That's real talk. You got to stop attacking people and honoring people. Even if you don't understand the mandate. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere with this. We may not understand each other's mandate because God didn't tell you. God told them. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody up here. Too many people attacking people. You don't know their mandate. Just like that street preacher that told Kirk Franklin that y'all getting up on that bandwagon. He was wrong. You don't know what God told that man to do, how he told it, because nothing just happens. But y'all Christians are like to say this and say that. Y'all don't know what Kirk doing on the, on the, on the, don't make me start. Because y'all know y'all don't like me when I tell the truth. We Truth be told, unless you have wisdom and discernment and God shows you, you don't know what you're doing in, in behind closed doors or in private. Mm. Because nothing just happens. And I told you, we in a time where God will expose you to you. And this is how it goes. I don't know why God's making me reiterate this. God will give you a chance to repent privately before he expose you publicly. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. And so I'm going somewhere with this. And I knew you were going to make me do it, God. And I'm feeling a little uncomfortable doing this, but I'm going to do it the way God wants me to do it. Because I have to. Because we have to learn to respect each other. Um, I was I was in a service last night. I, here it goes. Here it goes. I, got, I, I don't have a choice. I was trying to... I can't even do it. I don't know when they saw me what they went told the other people. But I felt uncomfortable. I felt very uncomfortable. How I felt uncomfortable. 
security started standing on this side, so it didn't take a, a, a rocket scientist to know that's Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, what's she doing up in here? I don't know what was said. I just know I felt uncomfortable, and I really just started to leave. But God said, Deanna, don't leave. I need you to sit here and to listen. So I sat here, and the message was very anointed and appointed. I don't have nothing against nobody. But I felt uncomfortable the way I was treated last night. Because number one, I don't run behind people. Number two, if you see me in the place to be, that's because God ordained it. Because I don't go nowhere. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't go nowhere that God don't tell me to go. You better understand what I just said, people of God. If you see me in a building, anywhere in a building... I don't go around most church folks. And I ain't trying to be funny, but I got to preach this thing the way God teaches me because most of you ain't right. Most of you are dirty. And I don't mean no harm because everybody got flaws. We all fall short of the glory of God, but I, 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 I can't go where he don't want me to go. So if I'm in a place or a business, you better believe it's about kingdom business. And everything happens for a reason. So then, they're going to try to let them know who I was. Oh, you know. And when they find out, there was nothing to be alarmed about. I was just on the same. I felt some kind of way. I can't lie to you. I'm not mad about nothing because God deals with his own. I'm just putting it out there. Be careful the way you treat people. Be careful the way you treat people. And and I promise you before God, I am not mad. I was a little disappointed, but be careful the way you treat people. Because let me tell you something. Now I'm going in. I know who I am. I don't need you or anybody else to tell me because trust me. My mandate speaks for itself. Oh, oh, let's go here. My warfare speaks for itself. Oh, come on, somebody. The intimidation speaks for itself because people are intimidated about Apostle Deanna Dixon. Don't ask me why because you already know why. I know what I carry. And I'm anointed to carry it. Oh, hallelujah to his name. And yet with love, that's where I'm going with this thing. Be very careful that I don't care how powerful you are, that you always walk in love. I didn't feel that last night, by the way. Men of God, women of God. But I digress. I just want you to know what God wanted, to t- wanted me to tell you. No matter how you feel about a person, even if you don't like a person, let me tell you something. If you are in my mess, I will never make you feel like I really know about you. I'm coming with love because that might be the one time that I could minister to you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That might be the one time that God say hug them and love them back to life. That might be the one time because you, you may not get that second chance again. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Know your authority and you won't be. You won't be intimidated by authority. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Know your authority or you won't be intimidated by authority. Oh, you have to be careful how you treat people. Oh, yeah, I felt weird. I was like, God, can I just leave? I want to leave when I first got there, truth be told. But God wouldn't let me. God would not let me leave. That's how, that's how uncomfortable I felt. And what made it so noticeable, they came in. And they had already been in, but then they went out again. And that's when the security guard comes sit, stand right by me. And I, I mean, I write notes wherever I go because that's what I do. Because especially if you're preaching powerful I'm going to take notes because it ain't about you. I'm trying to get there. Always learning. And I know I'm powerful, but I'm always learning. So he was even looking at my notes. That's what made it so odd. I'm like, I really just, you know me. I really want to just get up. But God said, no, I want you to stay to the end. So I waited to the end. And then I I, I got up and I walked out. Because usually I wait to the final end. But I felt so uncomfortable. I just want to leave. Because let me tell you something. I don't run after nobody. And I got to go here. Man, I got ain't nobody was trying to do you nothing. I don't know what you told those people. But that was, I was kind of embarrassed. But I stood my ground. I stayed. And, 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 and I got in the spirit in case you didn't know. I pierced in because I had to. That was the only way I'd be able to sit in that thing. Because it was heavy up in there. So I had to pierce in. I know you saw me. I had to pierce in. I know you saw me. I had to pierce in because I know who I am in God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hope that you understand what this life is about. Because it ain't about other people. It's about knowing who you are. I am using that situation to talk about this situation. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to know your authority. If I didn't know who my authority was, I'd have ran the first five minutes because I felt uncomfortable. I'm sorry. After everything was said, that's when I felt uncomfortable. And I was like, my God. Woo, it was heavy up in there. But it was a great message, by the way. Very great, very great. So with that being said, be careful. 
Be very careful the way you treat people. And I'm just going to be real with you because you don't know what kind of anointing they're working with. What am I saying? It doesn't matter who you are. If you are anointed, God says, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Come on, somebody. And that means none. Oh, I'm, I'm going to say it like I'm going to say it. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I know when you have authority, people have a problem with you. They don't think that you should say this. They don't think that you should do this. And I get it. I get it. I get it. Because we're always being judged. Y'all say don't judge, but we're always being judged. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We have a whole book of judges. We're supposed to judge the righteousness of a person. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue to read. Matthew 16, 15, 19 says, He said unto them, But whom ye say that I am? Hold on. Let me read this thing. Excuse me. And he says, and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. 17. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, by Jonah, for flesh and blood had not revealed unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. I'm going somewhere. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 19. And I would give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Flesh and blood didn't reveal that. It was the spirit. I'm going somewhere. Whenever you don't know who a person is, you're supposed to go straight in the spirit. But you people, you people, notice I said you people, most Christians that are not seasoned, you attack people even on Facebook. Everything that I have done off of Facebook and on Facebook, I've had authority to do, meaning that it was a thus saith the Lord. So we have to be very careful. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm not trying to make this thing about me, but because I experienced it last night, and this was my message today about spiritual authority. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the power of God. Let me tell you something. They don't like you when you're anointed and appointed. Oh, hallelujah. And you're walking, talking, speaking authority. Because guess what? That's what Jesus left us with. He said, know ye who you let labor among you. If you don't know who I am, that's your you. Hallelujah. If I don't know who you are, that's on me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What am I saying? You got to walk in the spirit, church. Y'all walking in the flesh. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let me continue. Nine through one, he says, then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Oh, come on, somebody. You don't want to know why the church is not powerful these days? Because we don't know our authority. We don't know who we are. We're so busy attacking each other or and each other or, or, and the competition spirit. Come on, somebody. I have more followers than you and you have more followers than me. Can I tell you something? That's not even about that. I want to know who's been with God. I want to know who's labored with God. I want to know who's been in prayer with God. I want to know who had their face before God. I want to know who can truly hear God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your spiritual authority. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and I'm going to tell you something. It is a dangerous thing to don't know your, your, your spiritual authority because the enemy will send things, I promise you, to try to attack you. If they can't, somebody said it last night, and, and it was a very great message. If they can't attach to you, they attack you. Well, I want you to know this is not an attack. This is being real. We have to understand who we are in Christ and know them that labor among you. Know when somebody is not out to hurt you. But you can only do that by wisdom and discernment, which is the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because that competition spirit, that's that's real. That's so real. Oh, my God. They get mad. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me continue. Let me continue. Matthew 20. 8, 18 says, and Jesus came and spake unto them saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to understand who you are and whose you are. You got to talk like it, walk like it. And the only way you can do that is if you've been with God. If you have been with God. If you have been with God. What am I saying? You got to get in them scriptures. Just like I said yesterday. You got to get in them scriptures. You got to get before God. You got to pray. You got to fast. And the real one, you got to worship. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to worship because your worship is your worship. You want to know if a person is anointed. They must worship God in spirit and in truth. I'm talking about you might have to sing by yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. You might have to sing and you don't have to be the best singer. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It, 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 it's something about getting in the spirit. It's something about going in the spirit. It's something about walking in the spirit. It's something about talking in the spirit. We know the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 
And this is a relationship. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I love the way you say that, Monique. You got to stay planted in the secret place. Oh, that's it, girl. You said it. Woman of God, you said it. Because the enemy is trying to pull you out of the secret place. How does he do that? You see, if I wasn't who I was. I would have felt some kind of way today. Now, I'm talking about it because thus said the Lord to talk about it. I really didn't want to because I was going to just let that stuff roll off my back. I, I Trust me, I get treated worse than that. That ain't nothing to me. Trust me. Let me tell you something what the enemy is always trying to do. The enemy is always trying to make, attack you so you don't think that you are God's. So that you don't know that you're God's. So you don't move in God. You got to know that you know that you know that you know that you know. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. You got to understand. And let me tell you something. Everybody's not going to roll with you. Everybody that's not going to like you. Oh come on somebody. Hallelujah. And, and it's because they feel exposed. Let me tell you something. I noticed something as an apostle and a prophet. Most people think I know more than I know. God only tell me what he wants me to know. Come on somebody. But if you dirty... Listen to me very carefully. If you dirty, if you if you in sin, you think everybody know your business. That's that guilty feeling. Oh, let, let's go ahead. We're going deep. That's that tormenting spirit. Tormenting spirits tell you, oh, you know they know you're doing it. And we may not even know I'm saying something. I'm saying something. I'm saying something. Hallelujah to his name. Know who you are and walk in your authority. Talk in your authority. Move in your authority. That's why the enemy. And the enemy will send. Let me tell you something. God will allow the enemy to send tests and trials. There was a test last night. Because I ain't going to lie. Y'all know I can get riled, right? I really, like I said, straight up, I want to just walk out and leave. God said, Deanna, you can't. I really, that's how uncomfortable I felt. I really just want to walk out and leave. I was like, what is this? Ain't nobody trying to do nothing. I mean, you know. God said, no. So I know I won. You're not ready for me. You're not ready for me. When do I hear you, God? When you feel uncomfortable, that's when you're supposed to stand. I just say something because let me tell you something. Most of you, when you feel uncomfortable, you run. Oh, come on, somebody. When you have the power of the Holy Ghost, though, you stand. And that's why I had to get into worship. Hallelujah. Because when you get into worship, that's your worship. And when you can get into worship, you can stand. Hallelujah. With both feet planted and understand that who you are and whose you are in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because you're going to go through some tests and trials. If you are anointed and appointed like I think you are then you're gonna go through some tests and trials because the enemy is trying to make you feel like you are not who God called you to be the enemy is trying to I'm talking about he's been he's given permission God has given him permission you remember when he said have you considered my servant Job what did he calls your name have you considered my servant Deanna oh come on somebody that was a test and I passed it that was a test y'all ain't ready for me did it feel uncomfortable I promise you it did when you are going to the next level, promotion comes from God. When you are going to the next level, you will be tested above and beyond of what you think you can bear. And God does it on purpose because God knows that you can't do this without me. Come on, somebody. That's why David, David with Bathsheba, he never sinned again after God taught him something. David, you can't keep playing because where I want you to go, you got to listen to me. You have to be obedient because the only way you're going to conquer the test and the trials Notice after Bathsheba, David got anointed. I'm talking about really anointed. What happened? That's when his own son tried to attack him and take the kingdom of Absalom. Because, no, oh, this is good. Once you pass the test, now your calling got to be sure. Oh, come on, somebody. That's when the real stuff coming. So last night was just a little fragment of what I got to go through. Y'all ain't ready for me? I ain't mad. I promise you. So don't take it as such. If you see this man of God, woman of God, everybody that was dead, don't, don't even worry about me. I'm just talking. Didn't you say that? I'm just talking. Because you're going to always have to go through more than what you are. Oh, come on, somebody. How do you? Because you're going from level to level. Come on, somebody. From glory to glory. And nobody knows your story for real. Oh, come on, somebody. We think we know each other. Story. Can I be real with you? Can, 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 can I just break this thing down? We all got issues. How dare you try to try to captivate on mine? You got some too. We all hurting. There's an area in your life that the enemy is hitting you in right now. What? What lie? So, with that being said, we all need God. We all need the power of God. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What are you dealing with at night? What are you dealing with at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning? Oh, come on, somebody. What are you dealing with that you don't discuss? Oh, I, I go deep with this stuff. Don't play with me. Hallelujah. And that's why when you truly are anointed and appointed, you don't mistreat people. 
You give them the same grace and mercy that God gives us. Now, hold on. I'm not saying do what you got to do because anybody's out of order. If I was out of any order, then that, that would have been, hey, the right thing to do. But when a person is in order, that's not the way you do it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So praise God, praise God. Everybody want to call me right now. I wish y'all stopped calling me because I know y'all follow me, the people that have called me. So you should got a ding because you, you, you're trying to, don't let the devil use you. And I ain't mad at you. So don't, don't, don't call me with, oh, you talking about me? Yes, I am. So let me continue. <laughs> y'all know y'all think I'm crazy. Guess what? I am. <laughs> but to a certain point, because let me tell you something, these, these devils crazy. And if you haven't gotten the picture or the MO or the memo, let me tell you something. You better be to the tenth level in anointing, in power, in speaking, in talking, in standing, because these devils out here for real, doing every and anything. Why do you think death is rising? Why do you think you're seeing some of the stuff? That's because that's demonic entity. That's demonic activity. That is regional activity. I'm talking about territorial demons, and yet people want to write books and do all this stuff and travel all over the world, but yet you can't stop the stuff that's going on right in your territory. Yeah, I said it. Hallelujah. <laughs> but you're traveling all over the world, but you can't stop them demons right in your city, your town, your state, your country. What, what what part of the game is that? Because if you truly anointed and appointed, you're supposed to speak to your atmosphere. You're supposed to shift your atmosphere. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We are. We, you, we're game changers. Come on, somebody. We're shift changers. Come on, somebody. You speak to the atmosphere. Every devil got to flee. Every devil got to bow down because of your authority in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nobody playing. But you're right. You're right, Monique. All time high with no power. That girl crazy. Girl, you are crazy. That was a good one. <laughs> she said all time high with no power. Girl, don't make me laugh. I'm trying to stay focused. That was a good one, though. All right. So let me let me stay focused. Oh, that was a good one. First John 3, 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The same reason. That Jesus was manifested is the same reason you have the anointing flowing through your veins. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Mark 16, 17, 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Can I ask you something? If you are not moving in power, then that means you ain't got no power. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't get mad at me. I didn't write the book. If you are not moving in power, that means you ain't got no power. There should be something that follow you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The anointing of God is supposed to heal, deliver. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Root out, pull up. Hallelujah. Change, rearrange. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, let me continue. 1 John 5, 4, 5 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Don't you know that you have victory? You have victory, thus saith the Lord. It does not matter what you go through, who you go through. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I'm going to tell you something. If you are anointed, you're going to have to run through people. Oh, I'm not talking about in a violent way. I'm talking about in a spiritual way. Ton of vision. I'll run through you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to know that you know that you know. Let me tell you something. I don't know what happened. But when I look in that Bible and I see, like I said, they were powerful. This generation don't want to go through nothing. Oh, I said it yesterday. Y'all want a vacay. I'm going on a vacay. In the Bible, they never went on vacations. Straight up. They, 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 they did that. I'm talking about they talked it. They walked it. They Come on, somebody. They lived it. They loved their God first. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Let me continue. He's John's first. I'm sorry. John 16, 13 says, How be it? When he, the spirit of the truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. It's not just about being a prophet. When you have the spiritual wisdom of God and discernment of God, God will tell you. That's how I knew what was going on last night. And guess, can I tell you something? I knew it before it happened. And I start to leave then. God would not let me. He said, you don't run. Oh, I just said something. Too many of y'all run away from your problems. Let me tell you something. Nothing is dealt with till it's dealt with, honey. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to look at the enemy dead in the eyes. And sometimes not even our enemy, our brother and our sister, and say, is this what we do? You don't know who I am. You mean to tell me you have a relationship with God and God didn't tell you? <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me.
Deuteronomy 28, 7. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Oh, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. And that's the end of that. These are the scriptures that God told me to give you tonight. Let me tell you something. I don't just say something to say something. It is a reason that God does what he do, how he do it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God is always rebuking, correcting, expecting, and checking. You need to understand that because we are fruit. Oh, come on, somebody. How do your fruit smell? Is it rotten or is it good? Oh, come on, somebody. Or is it like the fig tree, which you already knew? You see, when you look at this parable, he says, um, he went up to the fig tree and he says, uh, wait a minute. Since you are not producing, you should never produce. Don't you know he already knew that? He already knew that, but he was speaking life. He was speaking death. He had cursed it. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm saying something. What are you speaking over and in? Oh, come on, somebody, because what you speak, it shall say. What you speak, it shall do. What you speak, you shall be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to know who you are, Jesus Christ says. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The body of Christ don't know who they are. But the main thing, and I want to leave you with this. You got to walk and love people. I promise you, I know I'm a powerhouse. I don't care what nobody say. God have already called me and nobody can do nothing about it. And I still love you. But I promise you, my foundation is love. That's what I call on here to say. Know your authority. Walk in your authority. But love people back to life. Even when they ugly. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But it is a way that you do things. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because if you do not have a foundation of God and love, then you are a liar before God. Oh, I don't care how powerful you are. If you have 85 churches underneath you. You got to learn how to respect and check people in godly manners. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all know how I do it. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.